The farm is a space for everyone, not only for students, but for the bigger Stanford Palo Alto community. I've been working for the last two and a half years to electrify the Stanford farm. Right now, the energy consumption of the farm is around 30 megawatts per year. The solar installation will be able to produce 50 megawatts per year. So that will cover the whole needs of the farm, plus an extra 20 megawatts that most likely will go back to the grid. We also have three batteries that will store the energy that will be produced by the solar system. We have any other appliances that you will find in any other farm, or even a household, refrigerators. We also have a classroom where students can come here and take classes, learn. You never know what the needs of the future will be. Students can actually move from theory to practice, and this is a way where they can learn not only about agroecology, they will be able to learn also about the farm of the future, and also making sure that they also understand the part of public policy, agroecology, and the energy transition. We're also thinking about incorporating an electric tractor to go fully electric. So that, of course, will add to the load of the farm. So it's a dream come true. I'm pretty excited because it will be an opportunity for other students to interact with the microgrid. We also have a smart panel that will allow students to run experiments, charge, discharge the batteries, connect, disconnect circuits. So it's not only about the agroecology, but also about the green transition and making sure that Stanford has a farm that's 100% on-site renewable powered by the sun.